this video is so goddamn overdue. I have had a bucket worth of stuff um, sitting around my room for literally like a month now, I think. Here we are today and we will be doing it for you. P.S. If you want to see a tutorial on this look, it will be on my channel in the not too distant future. So keep an eye out. So runway. Let's just have a chat before we get into this whole runway thing. I am so poor, so I justify spending like four dollars on an item of clothing on runway um, made by slaves in China, um, made with the worst materials in the world, and then I spend like 250 bucks on a whole bunch of stuff, and somehow I can justify that? I don't know, roast me in the comments. So let's just get into it. Um, I've got so much stuff, mostly stuff that I can wear in Japan and like winterish kind of things that I can dress up or down. So let's just go ahead and get straight into the video. Someone in my neighborhood is listening to Cardi B so fucking loud. I'm fairly sure they live like three doors down. They are having a fucking rave. Anyway, so I am going to start with leggings because <laughs> Your girl lives in them, like I don't wear anything that isn't leggings, so... The first pair, I actually originally had a pair like this from Runway and had to buy a second pair um, because they broke and they like split because the stitching's really bad around the crotch area and it just like... Yeah. <laughs> but these are like camo leggings with a stripe down the side. They're kind of soft material but you couldn't like work out or anything in them, like I wouldn't be doing anything more than a brisk walk in these. Even a brisk walk is a bit dangerous. And it's one size. One size fits all. Like, don't talk to me about it. These glasses. So I'm gonna be wearing them for the duration of the video. Oh my god, aren't these the coolest? So the next pair of leggings I got were actually these fucking phen- Sorry, I put them on and then left them inside out. I'm still a six year old. Um, these are these amazing leggings. I was never expecting this kind of quality from Robway and then all of a sudden they came through. Like they don't show any of the fabric types on the website and then all of a sudden this like fucking stretchy lycra-ish legging material with good mother fucking stitching down the side. All of a sudden that comes through and I'm like, huh. And these are awesome. They've even got like the waistband to stop them from falling down if you're actually working out. And I have worked out on these and they were great. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. These are like plain outfit comfy. So I think I'm going to be wearing these on the plane. <laughs> the next leggings are kind of comfy. They're not really leggings. They're like jogger pant things. I can't remember what they said they were on the website, but it'll be here somewhere. But they like flare out at the bottom a bit and they're comfy. They're super comfy. They've got the stripes down the side, they're like actually quite nice and stretchy. But they're definitely really awkward, like they just don't, they don't taper in at the bottom. Still like them, still enjoy them, and they're only like six dollars, so she can't really complain, you know? These are the last pair of leggings I got, they're actually just like cherry blossom leggings. Um, I thought they were super cool. I really like the material. They're really stretchy, but they're also really small, they're just like the first camo ones I showed you, like don't sit down, don't stand up, just like remain as you are when you put them on. And then they'll be great. The next item is actually just like a really casual top. There's a camo and gingham phase going on in this chick's head right now, so it's super basic, so. This is another thing that I got in preparation for Japan. It's a shirt that has like a milk bottle on it and then in Japanese writing down the side. I don't know what it says, so hit me up if you do know. <laughs> it might not even be Japanese, so that could be really like ignorant, but yeah. Just roast me in the comments, we've been through this. The next item um, I just realized I'm actually wearing, but it's basically just this like gorgeous gingham rectangly kind of dress. Um, it's got spaghetti straps at the top and it's quite conservative, which is actually like really nice for the style, but I love it. It's like super nice and it's fitting, but in the most comfortable way possible. So would recommend 10 out of 10, except it is one size on the website, so <laughs> honestly. The next thing is Shock Horror More Gingham, or plaid or picnic blanket material, whatever you want to call it. It is this skirt. It's quite cute. It's really quite short and it's got like a, a knotting system that I haven't quite worked out yet, but I'm sure that anyone else could if they had the time or the brains. Next up, you guessed it, more like gingham-y kind of material. This is just like a different format of that pattern um, but it's basically a skirt it's quite tight 
Um, I think it'll look really good with like a black spaghetti suit, bodysuit, spaghetti suit, <laughs> spaghetti strap like bodysuit. Um, I tried to wear one in the try on haul but like that's just a singlet so I'm sure people could do better than that. And last up in the skirt department I got this really cute denim skirt. Um, it has these stripes down the bottom that make it look like it's Tommy Hilfiger and I love a fake. I am a fake, so when I saw this I was like, I have to have it. And it's actually, like, it's real denim, like, you can't really fake denim. Oh, I'm sure you could. Um, but it's super, super nice, and I like dressing it with, fucking, I don't know. The next thing I have here is actually my favourite thing that I got from Runway in this entire haul, apart from maybe the camo leggings, and this is what I'll be wearing on the plane with those camo leggings. Um, it's this really comfy sweater and it says Yeezy for President on the like left breast pocket. It is so comfortable. It's so like nonchalantly cool. Like it's not yelling out Yeezy for President. It kind of just looks like a normal black sweater and when you look from the back you can't even tell. And then like someone will catch it and they'll just be like, that's cool. And I'm like, yeah it is. This one's really fucking weird. It's like one sleeve is red, one sleeve is yellow. I'm sure you've seen it on like their website or whatever. The fit is super weird. Like I held it up and showed it to Matt and he was like, oh cool, where's the rest of it? And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's like weirdly kind of small. It looks like it needs to be stretched out, but I'm sure if I wash it and stretch it a bit, like it'll, it'll wear in, you know? Does that make sense? Probably not. And then the last clothing item I have is this sweater. It's not really a sweater though, because the material is like the, mo the thinnest material you've ever seen. It's just a long sleeved black shirty kind of sweatery kind of thing with a rose on it. See, look how see through it is. You can like see the lights through it. And then I got some like beauty things. Um, the, they're all they're all revolving around travel and making it easier to take makeup and products to Japan with me. Um, the first thing I got, shock horror, I've used them, I didn't buy them dirty, um, <laughs> these beauty blenders. They're actually really, 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 really good. Like, my friend Bella came over and she was like, are they not, the, are they the real beauty blender? And I was like, fuck no, can I afford three of the real beauty blender? No. And they're super nice and soft, um, they can be, like, they're hard when you want them to be hard. <laughs> Ew. They, are, they are doing so well. I am so proud of these things and very glad I brought them. <laughs> brought them? Bought them. And the next thing I will be taking is actually this like compact travel bag. So you hold it like this and then when you open it up with these things, it actually has a hook on it. So you can hang it up on like the towel rail or something in the bathroom wherever you are. And everything is like showcased there. I like it a lot. So that is actually the end of this haul. Um, it was a long haul and there was a lot of things in it. So if you've stuck to all the way here to the end, um, tweet me and I'll like give you a prize of some sort. <laughs> and remember to tweet me videos that you want for me to pre-record before I go to Japan because I'm running out of time and I will film the videos. If you tell me that you want them done, I will film them. So thank you very much for tuning into my channel. And I'll see you guys next time.